and and as you can tell, it doesn't matter how nice this image looks. If the audio sounds like that, it doesn't feel professional. It doesn't feel prestige, and it definitely does not invite the viewer or the listener in to you know really inhabit and get immersed in the video, as opposed to this sound right here, which is very inviting. It's very warm. It's very friendly, and it makes somebody much more interested in paying attention to your content and the whole point of the camera gear, the audio gear, all the stuff behind the scenes is to make sure that the content, the story, what we're trying to get across is front and center. So I'm setting up to make a video on this channel and I realized I get questions in private messages and in the comments of this channel and my other channel all the time. How do you get the crisp, clear, warm audio when you're doing a talking headshot. Not like this. Right now my microphone is sitting on top of the camera like you probably use. I'm three, almost four feet away from it and so it's gonna sound like I'm three or four feet away from it even in an acoustically treated room like I'm in which you probably don't have, you're probably not in, and, and I'm not in when I'm out vlogging or if I'm in a hotel room or if I'm wherever, right? So the question is, how do I get that really great audio when I'm doing a talking headshot, when I'm sitting uh, at my desk or sitting on the couch? And, and the answer is, I use a boom setup. I use a, uh, a microphone, this exact same microphone, but I end up having it basically sitting one inch just out of frame uh, right over my head. and. It's not expensive and it's not complicated. The setup I use costs less than $50. So I figured as long as I'm setting up for a video anyway, why don't I show you what it looks like, what all the components are, how to put them together, and what it costs. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Brian Miller. I'm an author, speaker, magician, podcast host, and audio nerd. And welcome to Audio for Content Creators, where we help you sound better and level up for all your content creation needs. And yeah, we're taking a look at how to do a boom setup. So let me show you all the components, how we put them together. This will be short and quick. By the way, if you see me looking over at the screen a lot, it's because this is the very first video I'm filming on a brand new camera, a totally new system. So if you're a longtime viewer of this or my other main channel, you can start going into the comments trying to figure out, hmm, what camera would Brian be trying? What new system would he be testing? Go ahead and make your guesses down there. Anyway, first thing you need is a mic stand, a microphone stand. This is $19. It's an Amazon Basics or an Amazon made stand. Um, it's not well made. It's plastic. It's light. It's not sturdy, but it's more than enough for this particular purpose. Uh, what you've got here, you've got tripod legs, and then you've got a boom arm, which is the key to this whole thing, which can rise up as high as you need it to go uh, for doing something sitting. And then you can tighten this, and then you have the ability to move this in and out. As you can see, this gets stuck a lot because this is a $19 microphone stand. Would you use this as a professional musician? Of course not, but for our purposes, that was not as smooth as I'd hoped it would be. But for our purposes, it is totally fine. The next thing you're going to need is a microphone stand adapter. This is a 5 8 inch to quarter inch adapter that screws right on here. Next is this, a cold shoe mount adapter that's going to screw right on here. Now you don't actually need a cold shoe mount adapter. You can save eight or nine bucks on this if you want to. Uh, but what I find, because because a lot of the budget on camera shotgun mics, they have a quarter inch thread at the bottom. So you could just screw the microphone itself right onto the end of this. But if you do that, uh, then to unscrew it, you're going to end up wrapping the cable up in it if it's you know connected to the camera. So you have to un undo the cable and then unscrew it. I find it much easier to just be able to pop it in and out of this without having to unattach, unattach, uh, without having to detach it from the cable. So, speaking of which, the last thing we need is a cable. This is a TRS cable to TRS. This is a TRS to TRS. This is a male to male. They are both 3.5 millimeter, and they are both TRS, which is a three-pole connector on both of these. Now, I'm using a uh, TRS to TRS because I plug in either to a portable audio recorder or to a camera. If you're plugging your microphone into a smartphone, a tablet, or a computer, you need a TRS on one side and a TRRS 
on the other side. You'll need a three pole to a four pole. The four pole goes into a smartphone or a tablet or a computer. It's really important you get the right cable. Uh, you're gonna want at least a 10 foot cable. That way you can run from wherever you are all the way back to the camera or the smartphone, portable audio recorder, whatever you're using. Let's actually do this now. Let's take that microphone off of the camera. Let's attach it here and then plug it back in from a distance. I'm gonna take this and unplug it. You should be able to hear that this is a much, much cleaner sounding audio. Now, I can't even hear it. I can't monitor the audio right now. I'm just going based on my knowledge of doing this and watching the meters pegging. Um, as far as I know, this should be a much, much cleaner sound than the audio that we were getting when the microphone was all the way over there sitting on the camera. And to give you a comparison here, I'm going to put this back on the camera right now. Now, nothing has changed except for the fact that I took the mic from here, just moved it over there. Same cable, it's it's a 10 foot cable just sitting right there right now. Uh, this is how far away I am. I'm, I'm like five feet away and the difference, not only in volume, because of course right now I have to boost the volume up a lot more. Uh, when I have to boost the volume up, I'm obviously gonna get a lot of extra noise, a lot of extra uh, hiss and gain and crap from the camera preamps. You're gonna hear a lot more of the room sound compared to this, which is a much cleaner, much clearer, much warmer sound that actually makes my voice feel like it's front and center as opposed to just sitting in the middle of a room way away from the camera. So let me show you what it would look like to actually do this as a talking headshot. So now I've got the equivalent of a 50 millimeter 1.7 sitting on the uh, sitting on the camera. So I've got a nice long focal length as well as a nice wide aperture, a nice open aperture. So uh, this should really nicely blur the background. I've got kind of a blue, a very, very faint blue light behind me to give some uh, some depth back there. I've got these nice, you know, bubbles and uh, some of my sound absorption equipment back there that looks really, really nice. I've got the uh, microphone sitting just, I mean, it's probably eight inches from my mouth instead of what it would have been, which would have been, oh gosh, over there, five feet away from me uh, to have this kind of an image at this point. And so this is the difference in what it would look like and sound like if I took this mic and put it back over there. So same image, everything looks good, everything seems really nice, except the audio is terrible now. And, and, and as you can tell, it doesn't matter how nice this image looks. If the audio sounds like that, it doesn't feel professional, it doesn't feel prestige, and it definitely does not invite the viewer or the listener in to you know really inhabit and get immersed in the video as opposed to this sound right here which is very inviting it's very warm it's very friendly and it makes somebody much more interested in paying attention to your content and the whole point of the camera gear the audio gear all the stuff behind the scenes is to make sure that the content the story what we're trying to get across is front and center Hopefully this was helpful. You can find all the links in the description down below to the uh, the mic stand, the uh, the thread adapter, the cold shoe, and uh, a TRS to TRS cable. And uh, if I can find a good one, I'll, I'll leave a link to a TRS to TRRS cable for those of you going to a uh, smartphone or a tablet or a computer or something like that. This whole setup can be had for fifty dollars, and uh, you know, apart from the microphone, which in this case is the Movo VXR10, a budget on-camera shot gun mic uh, personally my my kind of budget mic of choice for content creation road video micro very popular not my favorite for a variety of reasons I've made a bajillion videos about thanks so much for sticking with me my name's Brian Miller and always remember that our world is a shared experience have a great day I hope it kept me in focus this whole time <laughs> <laughs>